And the big story at five, the big mess at the Milwaukee County Courthouse after a fire knocks out power. Court cases canceled, generators are keeping the jail open, but people who work at the courthouse had to stay home. Thousands of people with business and Milwaukee County feel that impact. Our Lacey Chris begins our big story coverage. Lacey. Yeah, the courthouse will be closed at least until Wednesday morning. 10th Street, you can see, is still closed. Now, they're saying a lot of this damage is because of smoke. Now, they're trying to get power into the building to start venting out some of that smoke. Donald Aldrich came all the way from Memphis to take care of his mother's will, but he was one of the many who were surprised that the courthouse is closed because of an electrical fire over the weekend. You came just to take care of this? Exactly. Yes. How frustrated are you right now? I'm very frustrated. Very, very big inconvenience. Um, time, money spent and wasted. There's still no exact cause for the fire, but crews are working to get this smoke out and electricity in so the 1,000 county workers can get back on the job. What is the likelihood that the courthouse will actually open on Wednesday? Uh, hard to say right now. Um, you know, I want to be really careful about, uh, uh, you know, setting any expectation. A February report on building maintenance explains the power system in the courthouse is 47 years old and is approaching or beyond its life expectancy. How do you have been prepared before this? Was there some deferred maintenance that maybe could have prevented a fire and damage like this? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, right now, I'm just focused on looking for solutions. How can I right now get as fast as possible back to regular operations? For as for Aldridge, he's heading back to Memphis and will have to make another trip here whenever the courthouse reopens. I'm here. I got to get back home. So basically, this was a trip pretty much made in vain. And the already packed court schedule is going to get even worse. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear from the chief judge about the mess he's going to have to deal with rescheduling all of these cases and trials. Reporting live from the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of people inconvenienced by this fire. Thanks, Lacey.